So using Go High Level's new IVR trigger, I'm going to show you how to create a custom voice AI that books appointments for you on autopilot and take it from sounding something like this. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. To a bot sounding like this. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So I'll be covering all of that on today's video and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next section. So last week, Go High Level released a feature called IVR. And basically IVR allows you to route and qualify your leads via phone call inside of Go High Level. So just to give you a practical demonstration of how this works, if I call this sub account, this workflow will run via voice. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So I'll press one. Press 1. If you need service A, press 2. If you need service B, press 1. If you need service within 30 days, press 2. If you need service in more than 30 days. So basically what I did on my last video was show how you could use this new IVR trigger to route and qualify leads and then get them to actually book an appointment with you using the AI appointment booking bot um, feature in Go High Level. Now what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can use 11 labs to generate AI for the actual voice. So if you notice here, the first message that gets uh, said when the actual lead calls is, hi, you've reached QBot, press one to get an instant quote. Now you'll see here that this says say or play a message. And so when we click on say a message, we are just gonna be using the default you know, robot that Go High Level has built. Now, um, if you want to actually use AI to generate your own bot, um, you can click on play a message and we can actually upload any sort of mp3 file as the voice. So what I've done is I have uh, created this duplicate workflow and I'm just going to show you how you can plug um, an AI voice into the rest of the workflow um, and basically replace the 11 labs voice, which is basically an AI software that you can use for, you know, voice recordings. You can anything that you can write um, can be immediately converted into an artificial intelligence voice. So I'm gonna show you how you can use these two, uh, this workflow as well as 11 labs to basically, you know, make some adjustments to the actual bot. So let me get my computer ready and I will start with this workflow. Okay, so first things first is you have to actually outline the process that you want the lead to go through. So I've already done that. You can check out my last video so you can see me demonstrate it more in depth. But basically it just says, you know, somebody calls the phone number, we automatically assign it to a user, and then it just says, hey, press one to get started. And you can change this text to whatever it is that you'd like. And this will, like I said, be the actual default go high level robot voice. Now, when they say yes, we have a condition here based on, or not when they say yes, but if we say, you know, press one to continue, we have a filter here that just says digits is one. And if they meet that condition, then it goes to the next question. So once you have the actual routing process outlined, then, you know, now we can actually use 11 labs to just update it with a more, um, you know, a voice that you would prefer um, more than potentially the, the default one. So what I'm going to do is just grab this over here copy it and we're going to go into 11 labs so basically um, we have a few different things we can choose from in 11 labs the main thing we need today is just a voice lab and um, i actually use 11 labs for my clients when we do voicemail drops and it's worked great i've uh, custom designed a voice um, on the platform which you can do i'm not going to do that in this video but i custom designed a voice to fit um, you know what would work well for my clients and you know we get quite a bit of callbacks i actually hadn't done any sort of voicemail drops prior to probably a month or so ago. Um, and we get quite a bit of callbacks from, um, you know, people that hear the, the voicemail drop and they think it's a real person. So it's, it's pretty crazy. So I did have to do some tweaking to the voices and basically make it really, um, you know, specific to what, you know, I think a real person sounds like. So I'm not going to do that in this video, but um, basically I did that and I can say firsthand that I use 11 labs to actually create voice stuff. So um, it's only going to get better. And so what I'm going to do is just show you, like I said, how you can kind of pick from some of these voices here to replace the go high level bot voice. So let's see. So first things first, uh, if you want to create a filter, uh, like for example, if you want it to be a, uh, you know, male voice or female voice or neutral, you can choose from these. So I would just recommend, uh, you know, starting there because once you filter by these, then you can kind of get, you can kind of just pick from the actual, 
you know, available voices at that point. So for example, I know that, um, you know, what works well for our niche is a female voice. And so we can basically just click on sample and then play these um, voices. And then once we play these voices, we find one that we like, we can click add to voice lab. And then from there, you know, I'll show you how to upload the, the new file into the bot. So I'm looking for um, definitely somebody with an American accent as well. Um, and I would say age is going to be like middle aged or old. So um, depending on how they sound, right, you can filter through them. But if they're too young, it may sound sometimes I notice when they're younger, uh, the pitch sounds more like AI than like someone that's more middle aged. So let's just play like the first three. And then I'm just going to pick one and then just show you the process of uploading it to the workflow. So I'll play this one. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. So that one actually sounds really good. Um, that's obviously playing, uh, you know, I think I've already added this one. So I must have already liked it before. Um, but this one is reading just whatever, you know, uh, written example they have there. So you can test it with your actual um, sentence once you add it to the lab. So there's one. Trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. So I don't really like that one too much. And I'll play this one. Be here now. Be someplace else later. Is that so complicated? Yeah, so that one I don't like either. So let's just, I already added this one to the lab. So what I'm going to do is go to projects now. Or wait, where did they move this to? Hold on. Um, okay, speech synthesis. Okay, so that was, let's see, some of these uh, recently added. So we're going to find, I think this was Scarlet. So I think that was the name of the one that I had selected. So then you choose Scarlet or whichever one you added to the lab. And then from here, um, this is where you can kind of make some adjustments to the actual voice. We're gonna leave this as is right now and then I'll just generate the sample um, so you can see how this works. So once you lay this thing out and you actually know the routing process you're gonna take leads through, you can just go over here, copy this, and then paste it into this. And then instantaneously, it's gonna generate a you know, version of this. So here we go. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So that one's to me sounds very, uh, it sounds a little too AI. So what you can do is one, you can thumbs down if you don't like it. So we can basically just say, you know, voice changes across the output, which I do think was true. And that'll just give feedback to them. And then you can also regenerate. So just click generate again and it'll generate a different variation. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So that one was better. Um, obviously to some extent it, it is AI, so it may sound a little too good to be true. Um, so you can mess with some of these. So you can mess with the stability and the clarity, uh, plus similarity enhancement. So it'll tell you right here, increasing the variability can make speech more expressive with output varying between regenerations. It can also lead to instability. So if you drag it down over here, it's going to have way more fluctuations in like the tone. So if I go over here and I generate, let's see how this sounds. Sometimes I've found that it, it still produces a good output, but here you go. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So I actually thought that one was better than the previous two. So like for me, what I would do and how I'm using it is once I get a good, um, you know, basically variation, I just download it immediately because you basically, once you regenerate it, you, you can't go back and I don't think you can, maybe it's, yeah. I don't think you can like go back and get that, that um, you know, newest version. So I just downloaded that one and I would just move on. So now what we're gonna do is right here, when you click on, I'm just gonna replace this one so the new feature is called IVR. So what we're going to do is click on the gather input on call action because basically, you know, what this action is, is it's gathering the digits that the actual lead uh, clicks, right? And this is how we're going to route or qualify the lead. So instead of say a message, we're going to click play a message and we're going to click upload file. And then we're going to click on this one. Now, if you want to keep everything organized, like I would recommend, you can just put 11 labs, or you could just put um, voicemail number one, if you want to call it that. And then just, you know, click on that. And then boom, now we can play this. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So that's already there now. And then it's still going to gather data like it previously would. So we're going to save this and then save this. And then now we're just going to delete this one because this is from the previous, you know, snapshot that I made. So I'm just going to click delete, delete action. And then now there we go. So let's test this um, and verify that the first uh, message that I receive um, from the actual system is going to, you know, have this new voice. So I'm going to publish this one, make sure that this can run multiple times. 
and then I'm going to turn off the old one because this is the old one. And if you have them, basically with the way the IVR trigger works is there has to be two um, or each trigger can only use one phone number. So you can't have like two IVRs running, two separate IVR workflows running. So I'm going to select the phone number here. I may have to refresh it here. Um, or I probably have to delete it from the other one. Yeah, I think I have to delete it. So if I go to this one, I can just, uh, let me just change this to birthday reminder for now, since it's the same thing. And then now I'm just gonna go to 11 labs and then now the phone number will show up here once I refresh it. Or I may have to, uh, I may have to like remove it. Let me see, should be there. Oh, looked like it was popping up. So I'm gonna delete this trigger and then just save it. So it is in beta, so there's possibility that it's glitching here. Um, should be there though, hold on. So let me pause this. All right, so we should be good. I had to get a new phone number um, because I do think since it's in beta, like if the phone number is already associated with the workflow, even if you delete it or, you know, like uh, mark the workflow as a draft, it's still not pulling the number. So that's probably just a beta feature. So um, I would expect that to be corrected by the time it's actually released. But if you see some sort of error like that, that could be why. So now this is linked to a new phone number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna call that phone number and basically see if, you know, number one, it plays the actual pre-recorded um, 11 labs recording that I made. And then it also, when I click on one, um, I'm gonna also have to correct this. So you see how there's a new condition here on the digits. So just in case you didn't you didn't catch this, th there's a condition below the actual gather input. And so if you, um, you know, when you run a condition based on this specific action, which is the IVR action, the condition has to be specifically linked to this uh, action above it. And so since I deleted the previous action because it had the old recording, um, you can see here it says digits unknown. So we close this out and now we're gonna choose this new one, number 10 and number 10. So we click digits, is, and then one, save, and then now we're good to go. So I'm gonna call, verify that it plays the new recording. When I press one, it should play you know, this message, which is still hasn't been edited, um, but this should play the second message, and then we can basically move forward knowing we can plug these, these pre-recorded messages in, and when we hit the actual input, everything's gonna work. So I'm gonna call this number here and basically see what came out. So eight, five, 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 six, seven, and then three, two, five, three. So we should hear the 11 labs uh, recording. And when I press one, it should ask me about if I want service A or service B, and that's gonna be the old voice, but here we go. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So that's way, uh, oh, I just hung up because I knew it would work. Hold on. It sounds way better. Hold on. Let me press one. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. So that's the old bot that it just went to. So everything looks good. So now we're going to just rinse and repeat. I'll do these two and then uh, you guys will have an idea of how to do this. But um, it sounds way better. It sounds way more official. And keep in mind, you don't have to use AI to do this. You can record your own voice. You could say, hey, this is Quinn. Um, this is our automated system. Press one. Like you can you can record it too. But um, obviously AI is the big the big hype this year. So got to got to use the AI. Uh, angle. So I'm just going to copy this text to say, and all we're going to do is just convert the original message to a played message through 11 labs. So just going to paste this over here. Oops. So paste this right here, and then we're going to generate this. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. So I don't really like that one. I'm going to regenerate it. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. A little fast. Usually when, when it hits like the way that I like it, I just, I'll know. So let's see. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. Okay, cool. I like that one. It did have a little audio at the end, it sounded like, but good enough. So I'm going to just change this one from, you know, say a message to play a message. And then I'm going to click upload file. I'm going to rename this voicemail number two. You can obviously title this, whatever. It's just so you have some sense of order. So there we go. Play this. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. There you go. So you can save this action. It did have a slight little audio glitch at the end. I don't know if you heard that. So you could edit that out or just generate a new variation. 
um, but that would go here. And then same logic, we're gathering the input, so we're good to go. So now I'm gonna call again and just make sure that it you know, works um, and see how it flows from this one to this one, um, but we should be good to go. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. Boom. So there is that little audio audio glitch. Um, like you could literally just edit that thing out um, and just make sure that there's no no glitch at the end. Um, but we'll do one more, and then basically that'll be you know that'll show you guys how you can make this a little bit more um, you know sound a little bit better. So um, this one is this. So we're just gonna copy this over here and then generate a new ver version. Press one if you need service within thirty days. Press two if you need service in more than 30 days. Okay, I like that one. Still a little audio thing at the end, I noticed, but good enough. And same thing, change this from say a message to play a message. We are going to click on this, rename, voicemail number three. And then there you go. Boom, save. So now I'll just test those first three, but now we've just kind of we kind of updated this existing workflow, made it a sound a little bit better, still gets the same result, um, but just has a better better voice. And like I said, you could also record yourself. Um, you could have a real person do this and you know, you could do it however you'd like. But like I said, AI is obviously the, the trend right now and it is extremely fast and 11 labs is super affordable. So I'm gonna click on this. Test it all the way through. Hi, you've reached QBot. Press one to get an instant quote. Press one if you need service A. Press two if you need service B. Press one if you need service within 30 days. Press two if you need service in more than 30 days. That's the old bot now. Press one to book an appointment. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that voice sounds better. So that is how you can use Eleven Labs to update this, you know, IVR qualifying bot trigger. And keep in mind, I have some really cool stuff coming out with um, just. SMS bots, the stuff I've been working on. I know I haven't been doing any videos lately on ChatGPT, um, and there's a reason. But I have, uh, you know, some cool stuff coming out with this, and how we're actually going to be using this with my actual clients, and um, you know, the the bot, the bot. I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, if you're an existing GPT customer, I just did a post in the school group um, here, and I had like 50, 60 messages that I just. I saw earlier today, um, but I did a post here in the school group, and um, yeah, so these are all the people that purchased the the GPT bot that commented, and I sent them over this bot that I just basically showed you guys, um, and they all got that included with their purchase as well as the uh, paying affiliates too. So I would love to work with you as an affiliate. Um, if you are looking for a Go High Level affiliate, um, you can join. I now have a um, hold on. Yeah, so I now have a 30-day free trial link for Go High Level. So you can, you know, start an extended free trial with me. And when you become a paying affiliate, you get um, this GPT snapshot. You get the affiliate. You get the affiliate resources on your free trial. Um, you get the GPT snapshot um, when you become a paying affiliate. You get the SaaS in a box system when you become a paying affiliate. The Go High Level Mastery course is included in the trial. You'll also get the Upex course when you uh, become a paying affiliate and you'll get the IVR booking bot too. And there's quite a few things that I'm coming out with too. So all my affiliates are going to get priority over all that. So, um, you know, you can, yeah, partner up with me here. The other thing too is because I'm considered or one of the, not the top affiliate, but just because I have this 30 day free trial link, I now have somebody that, um, you know, I speak to directly when it comes to, you know, um, like my affiliate stuff, if I need help with it. And so, um, he did say, you know, that high level is, uh, basically cracking down on people that are affiliate hopping and doing like multiple free trials. Um, and they're, you know, they have a whole kind of team overseeing that now. And so basically if you've been affiliate hopping or basically like starting multiple free trials, they're just going to be, you know, working on that. So, you know, just be, be mindful of all these types of trials and stuff like that. Um, because you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work anymore. So if you want an actual free trial, um, you know, and you want to partner with me, would love to to partner with you. And um, like I said, a lot of a lot of new things that are coming from you know 
from what I'm working on with with affiliates. But yeah, check this out. Um, it'll be linked below. If you want to buy any of the snapshots that you know I already have for sale, you can also do that. And um, if you ever want to book in a call with me uh, to consult, help you with any of your systems or anything like that, all that stuff's linked below. So I will see you in the next video and hope you're well. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.